In this lesson, we'll get started with our first multidimensional project. And all we're going to do is create it, specify where it's going to go, and get the initial deployment done so that we have checked out everything and we know that we can really get into the details. To create a multidimensional analysis services project, the first step, run SQL Server Data Tools. This is actually the Visual Studio 2010 shell with some of the design tools added into it to help us design these kinds of BI projects. Just like with any Visual Studio project, our first step is clicking the New Project button here. Within the Business Intelligence section, which is added to the Visual Studio environment when SQL Server is installed, we'll find several BI project types. We're going to start an Analysis Services project. When I click on Analysis Services, I can see all the different project types that I can use. And the first two are multidimensional. The last three are tabular. Since we're working on multidimensional right now, we're really concerned with the first two. The first one creates a blank project. That's actually the one I want. The second one would import a database that already existed in a server. So let's say that I had deployed a database and lost the solution, or perhaps it had been changed in production and I just want to bring it back into a Visual Studio project. This is the option I would use. In this case, we just want to create a new project. So I'll click the first link and give this project a name. I'm going to actually use the Contoso reference database. So I'll give that a Contoso sounding name and the default options are fine. And as I click the OK button, a new project will be created, some files will be created on the disk, and my Solution Explorer will be loaded with folders representing all the different objects that I'm going to create within the solution over time. So I'm not going to create any of these objects yet. I'm just going to get my environment set up. So if I right click on the Contoso DB project name up here, then I want to select properties. Properties are kind of important to get right when you're first getting started. The first one you'll see is on the on the build menu here is deployment server edition. Really important to pick the right edition. What this will do for you is allow the IDE to give you some red flags and, and warnings if you try to do things or use features that aren't installed with the edition that you're going to deploy to. So for example, if I chose that I'm going to deploy to standard edition, the IDE would give me some warnings if I tried to use semi-additive measures or partitions or other features that that edition does not support. In my case, I'm going to leave it on developer, which is functionally equivalent to enterprise in terms of uh, feature set. The second thing I'm going to do is visit this deployment tab. There are two things I'm going to do here. One is to change this processing option. The processing option tells the IDE what to do when I deploy the database onto a server. I'm going to change this to do not process. I like this option a lot better because it gives me more control over when the data is actually read into my solution. So as I'm deploying to the server, I may or may not want to wait for the cube and all the dimensions to be refreshed. This gives me the option to control that myself, so I prefer that one. You may like the default better, and that's up to you. The second thing is target. So the target is actually the server name where we're going to deploy it, and if you're using a named instance, and in this case I am, you need to tack on that named instance after a backslash. The database name can be anything you want. The default is just to choose the project name, but you can call it anything you want. If, if you want to call this dev or something like that, that's fine. That's just the database name that will be created within the instance during deployment. And I'll click OK. And then lastly, I'm just going to try to deploy this to the server I specified just to make sure I can because it's possible that as a developer I don't actually have authority to deploy projects and I want to get that out of the way right up front. So as I click deploy, I'll wait and the deploy progress command runs. Deployment is completed. And to double check that, I'll run Management Studio. Select Analysis Services as the server type. Select the instance and server name. OK. For Management Studio, I can see my database was successfully deployed. So we'll just continue on in the next lesson and start to develop the solution.